Right now we're going to talk about the rich and lean approach around an amine absorber. And so we'll spend the first couple minutes talking just about the concept itself and then we'll jump into the Promax simulator and see how we can calculate these values there. The concept here with the rich and lean approach is that these two calculations are going to help us understand how stable our current operation uh, is for our absorber. Okay, and so when you're simulating this process, we're going to determine what flow rates we need of our amine, how our generator needs to work, and we're going to get our sweet guess down to our necessary spec. But we want to make sure that we've chosen conditions that are able to handle any upsets that are going to occur. Okay, so we expect that in real time, you know, our solvent flow and composition will be varying. So will our inlet gas flow and composition, as well as our reboiler duty. And we want to make sure that we're operating in a spot where we're able to handle those upsets and stay near our sweet gas spec, and that any of those upsets don't send us way off spec. We can calculate the rich and lean approach for individual components. And so I'll talk mostly about calculating this for H2S, but you could do the same calculations for CO2. And the guideline we will give is that we want to keep these approaches below 80% for each of these components. Starting with the rich approach, the rich approach is quantifying how much driving force we have at the bottom of our absorber. This calculation is shown to you at the bottom right hand corner here. But essentially we want to know how close our rich amine is to its maximum acid gas loading. And we want to make sure that it's not too close, that it's below 80% of the way there. A very high approach means our system will be very sensitive to any variations. And so you can think of it as if we have a variation where our amine flow has gone down, we no longer have the capacity to pick up as much H2S, and any H2S that comes into our system will have to go straight out into our sweet gas, leaving us uh, off spec. And so we want to be keeping this approach again below 80%. If the approach is very high, we'll call this a rich end pinch scenario. And in those cases, in order to get the rich end, or excuse me, the rich approach down, we need to increase how much solvent we flow. We can do that by either increasing our overall flow rate or by increasing the amine concentration if that's a possibility. It's also important to acknowledge that other changes in the process aren't going to help us if our issue is a rich end pinch. And so improving the way our regenerator runs or increasing the size of our absorber, those aren't going to have an effect on, on our operation it just comes down to a capacity issue where we need to flow more amine in the system. And so that's the idea of a rich approach. Let's talk now about the lean approach. The lean approach is looking at the top of our absorber now. We want to know the driving force at that end. This calculation is also done via fugacity as shown at the bottom right. And in this case what we're hoping to, to see is how close the sweet gas is to being as pure as it possibly could be using our current lean solvent at its current uh, lean loading. Okay, and so this is an indication of how sensitive our sweet gas would be to any upsets in regeneration. Okay, so the reason this is important is if our lean approach is very high, we'll call ourselves lean end pinched, and what this means is we could potentially have issues where any upsets in regeneration would throw us way off spec. And so we would want to run some scenarios at different regeneration levels to make sure that we really are at a stable uh, point where any upsets in regeneration aren't going to totally throw off our sweet gas. If it is an issue, then the way to get around this issue is going to be to purify our, our lean solvent further. And so as noted here, increasing our circulation rate is not going to help our situation because it's not about having enough amine, it's about whether that amine is clean enough to get our sweet gas down to the levels we need it to be. Okay, and so increasing circulation rate, contactor time, absorber height, etc. is not going to help. We're going to need to focus on improving regeneration. And so that's what the lean approach is, as well as the rich approach as we've discussed. 
Let's go ahead now and look in Promax and see how we can actually perform these calculations. So now we have an example simulation open here of an amine unit. We've figured out a flow rate and energy rate for our reboiler that seem to work. They get us to below 4 ppm H2S and so it looks like we're on the right track. Now we want to dive into our absorber and calculate the rich and lean approaches and so we can get a better idea of how stable this system really is. If I open the absorber, I'm coming here to the specifications tab and I'm going to click add to add these different calculations. Clicking add and looking at our list of specifications we will see a lean approach and rich approach option and let's start with the rich approach. Once I've chosen my specification, I can name this, and I'm specifically going to do this for H2S. Again, you could do this for CO2 or other components. But I'll do it for H2S and click OK. This window is going to ask me which stage is the rich stage we're looking at, which will be the bottom stage. It also wants to know where the lean feed is coming from, so our amine stream is stream 19. And then this is a maximum loading calculation, or seeing how close we are to our maximum loading. The component we have chosen is H2S, and so I will choose that and click OK. And we'll see that it calculates that value for me. And so it says our rich approach is at 58%, which is well below 80%. So we look good for that number. Let's calculate our lean approach now. If I click Add and choose the lean approach option, I will do that for H2S as well and click OK. Now it's going to ask me which stage is the lean stage, which will be my top stage, and what type of phase I have coming out of my contact or my absorber, which is vapor, and then it's H2S again. When I click OK, we'll see that it has now calculated that value for me, and this is saying that. 98% is our lean approach, means we're lean and pinched, we're very close to 100%. And so what this tells me is that we're not operating in very stable uh, conditions, specifically that our level of regeneration right now is, is such that we could see potential issues as things fluctuate in our system. Okay, and so in order to get this lean approach down, we would want to increase how much reboiler duty we are using. And so that's the concept here of our rich and lean approach calculations. I hope that video has been of use and as always if there's anything we can be doing to help feel free to give us a call at 979-776-5220 or email us at support at bre.com. Thank you.